In today's gospel passage, Jesus teaches that we are to call no one on earth father, for you have one father in heaven. With these words, did Jesus teach that we are never to call any man father? No. Instead, Jesus is teaching that we are to call no man on earth father as we would call God our heavenly father. In other words, our most important, our primary father is God the father. All other father figures are secondary, less important fathers. As St. John Chrysostom, cited by Petrie, explains, Jesus said these words in order that we may know whom we ought to call father in the highest sense. The apostles and first disciples of Jesus clearly, clearly understood that Jesus was not forbidding us to call any man father, but rather was teaching that God the Father is the most important, is the highest father in our lives, even more important, even higher than our biological father. For example, as pointed out by Petrie in Acts, the first martyr of the church, Stephen, respectfully called the Jewish priests fathers when he stood before them. Right before his martyrdom, Stephen addressed the Jewish priests, brethren and fathers, hear me. Similarly, John in his first letter addresses the Christian leaders with, I'm writing to you, fathers, because you know him who is from the beginning. St. Paul even referred to himself as a spiritual father with, I became your father in Christ Jesus through the gospel. In teaching that all the various kinds of human fathers, including biological and spiritual, are rooted in the perfect fatherhood of God, St. Paul writes, For this reason I bow my knees before the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named. Today, may we grow in gratitude for all the fathers we know, especially those fathers who've related to us as our fathers. While honoring them with the title of Father, may we remember that there's only one perfect Father, God the Father. All other fathers are imperfect reflections of God's perfect fatherhood. May awareness of this discrepancy, of this gap between human imperfect fathers and the perf perfect God the Father, help us to be more merciful to our fathers. Help us to realize that no human father can ever act as a perfect father towards us, but will always fall short. May any wounds we have received from our fathers, whether intentional or unintentional, be brought to the perfect love of our Heavenly Father to be healed, so that we may emerge as more merciful, kind, compassionate, and secure in the unconditional, perfect, fatherly love of God. Lord Jesus Christ, as our elder brother, lead us before our Heavenly Father, and there before our Father, in the love of the Holy Spirit, may we experience deep healing peace. May God bless you.